Hey everybody, welcome to another teardown, kind of, not really. Um, I picked this up on eBay, it was a bit of a gamble, um, it's basically just a big grey box, um, I didn't really know what it was, um, it's called a, um, a Topometrics um, Electronic Control Unit um, ECU Plus. Um, I did a bit of googling at the time when I saw the listing and didn't really find that much on it, so... I gambled 15 quid on it and it's actually a bit disappointing. So I actually started doing a teardown on this and uh, I sort of opened the box and went, oh, uh, that's a bit, a bit of a shame. But uh, I thought I'd do a quick one and just show you what, uh, what I actually ended up with. So we've got this huge, great big um, grey box. As you can see, it's filling up my, my desk here quite impressively. It weighs, um, it probably weighs about 15 kilos. Um, but uh, you can see it's got... Uh, stuff on the back here and it came with a load of um, connectors on here and some cables so I thought it might have been interesting to take apart but sadly not um, take the camera off here show you the front so you got uh, top of metrics there um, now since um, I bought this I managed to do a bit of googling around uh, and I, I think I know pretty much what it is um, it's a, uh, a control unit to control the um, operation of a scanning probe microscope, uh, which apparently is a, a type of microscope that um, uses uh, a physical touch to actually um, measure the object that you're looking at, but um, they can actually work down to the atomic level. So pretty impressive stuff, really. Um, I didn't really know anything about it until I started Googling. Um, so I'll just, uh, I've just loosened all the screws off the back here and I'll show you what's inside. It's, uh, there's not a huge amount to be honest. But I thought, uh, I thought you might be interested just to see in the, the things that don't always work out. So I was hoping that this great big box would have actually been uh, rammed full of uh, nice electronics. But unfortunately, although we do have a nice PCB in there, there's only one of them, and that's it. Um, so there's not really a huge amount to see, um, and it didn't really make for a full, a full teardown type of video. Um, so I mean, it's a it's a lovely PCB to be honest. Um, it's a big board which goes right along here, and then there's this card plugged in on top. Um, and it's absolutely rammed full of um, analog stuff. So we've got loads of analog devices, parts, um, loads of National Semiconductor, got loads of analog devices stuff here. So it'd probably make, um, make a good uh, part of a PCB wall, but that's about it. Um, looks like it dates from about 1995. Interesting area there where you've got um, a proto area. Obviously, for more expansion, the case is uh, it's very, very substantial metal box. On the back here, we've got some ports, some BNC connectors. Some voltage uh, check lights. It's interesting that we've got um, plus 225 and minus 225. So we've got 450 volt there. And there are some big cables um, attached to these three ports here. And there's another one there called CPU. So I wonder whether there's actually supposed to be another box that goes with this. And then in the bottom, we've got a big power supply section. So we've 
got some nice mod modular power supplies there. Well, power supply modules, I should say. So we've got we've got one here just to run the fans. Um, I've whipped a couple of these out. There's um, there's like I think that one's 200, 250 volts DC at one amp, and this is this will be five and twelve volt. I would imagine probably and then whatever that one is so that's about it hopefully I'll have better luck on the next video right thanks everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one